Hi, Melinda Haynes, license number 102308. So, if you ever have met somebody who overshares, or if you are a person who overshares, like what's going on? Let's let's take that apart. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, so you meet a new person, right? You you tell them your whole entire life story, like in the first, you know, whatever, 10, 15 minutes that you've you've met them. And then later you, you walk away and you're like, oh, why did I say all that? Why did I just tell that person all that information about me? So what's going on? What's happening? So there's a few things, right? So first of all, we have a desire to connect with other people. Okay, so you could have just been really trying to connect with this person. Like, I'm going to share with you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to give you little pieces of me so that you can feel like you know me and that you're connected to me. So we could be doing it just that way. We have a desire to connect people. But we typically, when we see the oversharing, especially the excessive talking, that's um, you know, typically connected with oversharing. When we see that, it's typically anxiety-based. Okay, so now anxiety could be related to um, maybe OCD. OCD, um, and I'm not diagnosing anybody, so don't, you know, don't think it's, you know, it's a diagnosis. But OCD typically has like that obsessive thought like, oh no, this bad thing's gonna happen. And then the behavior or a ritual that goes along with it to try to stop the bad thing from happening. Now, generally speaking, of course, um, OCD type behaviors related to oversharing could be, you know, I have this worry or this fear that this, this bad thing's gonna happen. So if I excessively think about it and excessively talk about it, then, you know, I'm gonna prevent it from happening by, doing, by engaging in this activity. Okay, or it could be related to social anxiety. Now, social anxiety is when we worry so much about how other people are gonna perceive us or how they're gonna accept us that we do something to try to fix that problem. A lot of times it's, you know, stay at home, don't go to the party, don't interact with people. But sometimes when we're forced maybe to go out in public or we're forced to go to, to a party, make an appearance at, you know, the birthday party or, whatever it is, go to the, um, the meeting, the convention for work. Then we meet with people and because of our social anxiety, it's like we're trying to convince these people that, you know, we're good, we're smart, you know, we're, we're normal, we're average or we're excellent or whatever it is. And so we engage in extra talking in order to quelch our social anxiety. So what do you think? If you overshare or if you know somebody who overshares, what do you think? What do you think is underlying this, um, this whole need to overshare? Is it just part of our culture these days that, you know, we share everything? We post things on Facebook. You know, this is what I had for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this is what I'm doing right now. And this is what I'm thinking right now. Is it just part of our culture? Or do you think there's some anxiety underneath it? So let me know what you think, and I appreciate you, and thank you for watching.